My name is Lindwe Ngwenyi. I'll be talking about how COVID-19 has affected people living at the Landscape Court complex. Landscape Court is a student accommodation complex. It is located in New Academia opposite Una main gate behind the pharmacy. It is convenient for students since it's just opposite the university. Before the pandemic, the complex was always full of students walking around. Now it is empty. Boys used to play soccer during sunsets. Some students would meet just to eat and drink together. This is how it has changed because of the pandemic. Some of the flats are empty, they are no tenants. The students vacated the complex and went back to their villages since they are no longer face-to-face -face classes and they are doing it online. It was also hard for them to pay rent, especially foreign students, as their parents were struggling to send them money. The complex is now quiet and peaceful. The security guards are no longer going around asking the students to turn off their music. Some students were selling snacks. Their business got affected as they now have less customers. Some students had laundry business. It was also affected for they no longer have customers. Few remaining students are always indoors and they spend most of their time wearing pyjamas. Visitors are no longer allowed as one of the precautions to avoid the spread of coronavirus. This has helped since there are no cases reported from the complex. And the remaining students are suffering from this rule because they no longer spend time with friends in their rooms. Moreover, there are few families now staying by the complex. Only the little children are the ones seen mostly outside playing. The landlords are the ones suffering a lot. They lost lots of tenants and closed down some of the flats. Their business is affected negatively as they now receive less income. However, some of the tenants negotiated for the rent amount since they did not manage to pay full rent. When some flats were closed down, some students had to move to fill up the remaining flats. They had challenges for they did not have vehicles to move their stuff from flat to flat. Landscape court tenants were affected negatively and their lives are no longer the same. I'm in one of the rooms with one of the students who stays by the landscape court. Um, so China, please tell us how has been your life during this whole pandemic situation in this complex? Um, thank you for the question. My life here has been so nice uh, because I think it's because I've left before and then came back after the situation was like worse though. But it's like much contained here at our complex because they don't allow taxi drivers to come in and you have to wear your mask. You also have to mm, make sure that your surrounding the kitchen is clean as well to avoid any infections or any disease or any bacteria to be transmitted to the next person and then we also make sure that after when you go in town you come back here you may you have to wash your hands um you just have to sanitize yep okay thank you this is mr edgar and he's the landlord at landscape court According to him, COVID-19 has put the whole world on standstill and reset everything back to factory setting. Everything has changed and lots of people's livelihoods have been affected. Some have lost their homes in Wavos Bay with the fire that destroys lots of homes. 
Even the real estate in general has been worst hit in a way that us that are renting dormitories to students have been hit hard with no students since March till December. Since the university closed, so all the investment in infrastructure and internet connection we're operating at a loss for the whole year. There are lots of empty houses because a lot of people have lost jobs and income. Therefore, they can't afford decent housing, with some opting to return to their parents' housing, hence causing untold suffering and the landlords having bigger debts to pay with the bank due to lack of income.